The norovirus costs the NHS tens of millions of pounds a year in patient care, staff sickness and ward closures. But might one hospital have come up with the answer to stop it spreading? The Queen Alexandra Hospital in Cosham has reduced the number of outbreaks by more than 90% over five years. As Brian Leyland reports, its strategy combines high standards of cleanliness with cutting-edge technology. On a mission to exterminate, the enemy of these robots is norovirus. When the machines are set up, a fine spray of hydrogen peroxide will penetrate into every corner of the room, preventing further infection. We still have a, a full scrub done on the room before we um, bring the machines in, but this helps us to make sure that you know, the room is fully decontaminated. And you have to get well out of the way when that, before yeah. that comes out. Yeah, the whole room um, is isolated, so we tape off the whole room to make sure that nobody else can get in there and none of the chemicals can get out as well. Patients with symptoms of norovirus attract electronically and alerts about potential cases sent to the infection control team. The results of the strategy have been dramatic. A study showed in the five years since the initiative began between 2009 and 2014, norovirus outbreaks fell by 91% at the QA hospital. That compares to a 28% drop across England over the same period. We have a change in the culture around norovirus, so we didn't want to be victims anymore of norovirus. We put in place some very, very simple um, measures around cleaning and isolation which stop the transmission of the virus in its track. So it's all about preventing the virus from travelling from A to B. Since 2014 there haven't been any outbreaks at all. There have been individual cases but crucially they haven't spread to other people. So wards haven't had to be closed and staff haven't been affected. It's so much easier to deal with the patient, it's better for the patient journey through the hospital. They know that when they come in for a procedure, that they come in for that procedure and go home. They don't require something else on the way. Less disruption means savings for the hospital trust. The team here hopes its success story will provide useful lessons for others. Bryony Leyland, BBC South Today, Portsmouth.